another planet without native life. All we need to concern ourselves with then is other visitors. It's worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
Best not to leave anything useful behind. Oh, 
Did they have anything of value?
Yes? I am always willing to carry an extra weapon. Good.
Spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something.
winner takes all is the phrase, is it not? You can succeed at that before we are discovered. jobs. Client is on his way. What are you waiting for? How do you know about Barrett? You sneak into my files? We'll be talking about this later, Dusty. Now get in that cavern. 
Enough stalling. Go. Don't look at me. I've done my part. Uh, you, you... Hey, don't act all weird on me. Do your job. What? What? Enough, enough, enough stalling. Go. Yes. <laughs> 
system failure. Someone or something will clean up whatever is left behind. You didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome. What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. I'm impressed. How did you... Did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief. An opportunist. A liar.
You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! Found me a target. <laughs> Come on, Rook. Come on. You can make it. Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the... No. No! 
I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. What the? Crixus ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? Not sure if you're just a reflection of a shattered brain, but okay, I get your meaning. Well, ghost from the other side, I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend. Ammunition is always welcome if they have any.
Yes, of course. I enjoy the conversation. So... Yes. Goodbye.
return to your ship? So, the unity awaits. I am not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. I do not know if I would say the same. More that I accept it. I'm ready. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? I do too, but the emissary makes me doubtful. They are both the person we lost and someone else entirely. If we do not see each other again, then this is goodbye. I am proud that I was present for this journey. If you are free soon, could we talk? I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. You agreed with me that true purpose can be a driving force in life. I found that comforting, but something has been nagging at me since. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary, that there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And... I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. I know. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... No, that is not what I am trying to say. I... promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home, jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. This is true, but I have only experienced my own. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I, I might never see them again, with no warning. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea, but therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others.
I appreciate that more than you know. What did you need? Indeed I do. All yours. You do not need to ask me if you may ask. Until next time. Now that you have all the artifacts, we should talk. Always knew we could pull this off. Finally! These new universes won't know what hit them. Forget about the Starborn and the Hunter. It's Barrett and company from here on out. I suppose we can do that. Classic. Look, if this is it, are we doing this or not talk? Then stop right there. We're doing this. The multiverse waits for no one. Yeah, that's why I said it first. See you on the other side. So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn are sure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Funny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. That's not what I mean, but 
I love you, too. Say we go to the Unity. Become Starborn. Enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. We both know that one of us is going to let curiosity win out, eventually. It's who we are. But I wouldn't mind pretending one universe is enough. For a little while, at least. If you need something, I've got your back. Fishing for a handout, eh? <laughs> You don't even have to ask. I will never love another person as much as I love you. No matter how difficult things have gotten, your love has given me strength. <laughs> it's clear that we belong together. You mean that? You do that? For me? I've been dreaming about this moment, and still, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, yes. Ah, I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. You know, I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you, right here beside me. I think I prefer the wild planets to this city. At least there, the predators are easier to spot. What is it? All right then. Our 
fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? The stock versions are never quite what you want, are they?
correct, Captain. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. I am told that is the best way to deliver potentially upsetting news if we do not see each other again. Goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. There's something I need to talk to you about. Important or not, I'm ready to listen. Let's get a second opinion, shall we? Walter and I were just discussing the expenses incurred during the attack. No, I was explaining that there's nothing to discuss. It's been taken care of. It seems that Walter has taken it upon himself to cover the costs of the repairs to both the Lodge and the Eye, as well as any expenses relating to the... to the funeral services. Sam was a good man. It's the least I could do. Well, it's not about looking for thanks. I just... It needed to be done, that's all. Tip your ear well, for a moment. I can't thank you enough, Walter. Sarah. I know we argue about money all the time. Most of it is in jest, but occasionally it's not. This is the one way I can best contribute to our work. It has been, and continues to be, an honor to do so. And when this is all over, we can go back to squabbling about minor expenses. But it was important to me that I do this. Fair enough. Well, since we're already talking about this, there is one more thing I'd like to do for Sam, and I'd like to get your opinion. Nothing extravagant, just a small plaque here in the lodge. Something to remember them by. Where do you think would be appropriate? Sounds fitting. Any objections, Walter? No. I think this is a fine idea. Then it's settled. I'm glad we had this discussion. And now, perhaps we can try and move on. Yes. I think that's right. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Oh, no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor. You see, that's a bad lesson to teach. Time is money. And an interest on a loan is the incentive to remember that. 
Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. Spend so much time looking at the scans, I can see star systems orbiting in my Do you have a second, friend? I've thought about it, and as much as I would love to see the unity, the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. I know I should be excited, but I can't stop thinking about the fact that the Keeper knew about the Unity but chose to keep it hidden. I think I need to look for my answers here, in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but... I'm glad I was a part of all this. Do you have a new set of orders for me today? What's up? What did you want to talk about? I don't know if I'll ever get used to being around all these people. Everyone hurrying around, talking, eating, drinking, doing a million things. It's so weird, but kind of exciting at the same time, you know? Going from a planet with a population of three to this one is going to take a lot of patience and trust, that's for sure. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it in all my life. Not even in mom's picture slates. It's almost like, like, like a fairy tale. L like it's not real, you know? I'm sure that sounds pretty dumb to you. But hey, I lived in a house made from busted up spaceship parts and trees. Yeah, a little bit. That planet was the only real home that I ever knew. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it feels like I've left my family behind. It was a really tough decision to make. But... You and Sarah were right. I had to move on with my life. And hey, one day when I'm old enough, I could always go back for a visit. Well, there's no other people my age here at the lodge, so it's going to be kind of tough. Actually, Noelle is pretty nice. She said she'd teach me some stuff about science. You know, pick up where my mom left off. Besides that, I don't really care if I make friends or not. You and Sarah are the only friends I'll ever really need. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the rays of the righteous.
Captain Leo, I have been idling and awaiting my next order for some time now. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work. Especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. Sorry, was just doing some math in my head. Trade the gabs with you. Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Caught the measure of me right. Worse ways to retire for an ex-Crimson fleet. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Forgot to check the math on a few equations. The brain's long gone. Forgetfulness. Got one. I'd go into the astronomical charting data with you, but clear as day just to point you right to it.
Captain Leo. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep. Hey, what can I do for you? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Okay, no problem. I want this. I was beginning to wonder if you weren't coming back. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Always a pleasure. So, I've given everything we've discussed a lot of thought. And I've decided I'd like Aja Mamasa to conduct our marriage ceremony. I knew you'd understand. So, with that settled, I suppose we just keep it a quiet ceremony? Just the two of us? Honestly, no. I respect everyone at Constellation, but this is part of my personal life. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to keep my personal feelings about us separate from Constellation. If anyone else had suggested that, I'd say no. But hearing it from you, I know in my heart that it's the right thing to do. I'll send her an invite and we'll see if she shows. Anyone else? Or will the three of us with Aja presiding be enough? All right, it's settled then. I'll send a message to Aja asking for her to preside over the ceremony. As soon as you're ready, let's head to Paradiso. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I love you. If you want help, I'm here. Leaving? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> is something amiss? Did you need me? Mm-hmm. Goodbye. I'm all ears. Back, eh? How's it going? Don't stay away too long. I'd be more used to you at an outpost. I'm dying for something to do, boss.
got anything you need to offload? Sure, I've had it. Did you need something? Am I being reassigned somewhere? What's on your mind? I'd be a lot more used to you somewhere else. Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem. Hey there. Glad to see you again. You be careful, okay? Hey. I've got something with you your name this. on it, boss.
Keep scanning. I'm sure there's something nearby. to learn. 